This video shows correction of a right hydrocele using an animal model of a bull scrotum. Preoperatively, as you know, we must make sure we have correct imaging and clinical findings. This shows routine prep and drape followed by a vertical incision overlying the right hemiscrotum. This is performed through skin and subcutaneous tissue. In real life, there would be bipolar diathermy available for small vessels. Following skin, we incise dartos, which gentle retraction allows the fibres to split. Blunt dissection here allows delineation between dartos and the tunica vaginalis, which is seen to surround the testicle. The testicle within tunica vaginalis is delivered from the scrotum with use of a swab to aid with dissection. Following this, tunica vaginalis is lifted with a pair of tooth forceps and scissors used to incise. Sometimes there are a few layers and it takes a couple of incisions to get in the correct plane. With a hydrocele on entering the correct plane there will be fluid released at this point and you may need suction or a kidney dish to collect the fluid. We can see the lining of the testicle, the anterior border with tunica albuginea being revealed here. You must ensure the incision in the tunica vaginalis is opened enough to allow full eversion of tunica vaginalis. This is then folded neatly behind the testicle. We can see the whole testicle here and epididymis with gubernaculum at the, post, at the caudal layer. Tunica vaginalis is then sutured together. This is performed with a 2 vicral suture in a continuous fashion. Some of the sac can be excised if it is very large. We are showing here a jabalé repair. However, another option is to fold the layers of tunica vaginalis as a cuff and this is called a lord's repair. Your assistant will aid with traction on the end of the suture. On completing your running suture and tying at the end, we always make sure that a finger space is allowed at the upper margin. This will ensure that there's no pressure on the spermatic cord and no risk of ischemia. As we know, the risks of this operation are bleeding, infection, recurrence and injury to the testicle. In terms of ischemia, there's a 2% risk of be returning to theatre for, for hematoma evacuation. Traction is then placed on the edges of your incision and the testicle replaced in the correct lie back into the scrotum. In terms of closure, Initially, we close Dartos using 2O Vicral in a continuous suture. This is hemostatic and we usually cut and then allow your assistant to follow your suture from one side. This is continued to close the incision.
At this stage, some people do place local anaesthetic around the incision, which can help with post-operative pain relief. The final suture is tied and the knot tends to be buried by the following skin sutures. Skin is closed with 3O Vicor Rapide and an interrupted mattress suture. This is shown here and again is good for hemostasis and nicely everts the skin edges. The good thing about interrupted sutures here is that if there's any signs of wound infection, some of the sutures can be released. A continuous suture would mean that the whole incision would open. We tend to instrument tie these sutures so that we save on suture material.